Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Pro Media back with another unboxing video. So yesterday I was walking through the mall in Toronto and I came across this EB Games, which is basically the exact same thing as GameStop in the States. Unrelated side note, this is also where I ran into NBA player and Toronto Raptor, Jeremy Lin. It was completely random, super, super exciting for me. But anyways, getting back to the main point of the story, I walk into the CB Games just to see if there were any games that would pique my interest and there weren't. So then I went over to the figure section and they had some pretty cool stuff, man. There was Super Saiyan Trunks, there were a couple Super Saiyan Gokus. I think they also had a Frieza and a Bardock. So yeah, some good stuff, but nothing really that stood out to me. So I was about to leave the store, but just before I walked out, I saw this bad boy just chilling there by himself beside the cash. And a couple things, right? So number one, it's a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta figure, which alone is basically an instant buy. But then I also noticed it's also a Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle themed figure. For someone like myself who has an entire channel dedicated to this game, that's just extra exciting. So needless to say, I bought it immediately and it's also really cheap too, man. Look at this, $30 Canadian, very cheap for a figure like this. And uh, you know what? I want to do a quick unboxing for you guys, my Dokkan fans, because I know you guys want to see what it's all about. So here's the front of the box. There's the side, and of course, there's also a Super Saiyan 4 Goku, but unfortunately, they didn't have it, so I'll have to keep an eye out for that. And on the other side, just the same figure, but in a different pose or from a different angle. The bottom, some random text, and on top here, we have the Dokkan logo once again, and also fourth anniversary Dokkan battle. And last but not least, this Toei sticker, which is basically the certificate of authenticity. So if you guys are buying figures and they don't have that Toei sticker, then it might be fake. So make sure to keep an eye out for that. But anyways, um, yeah, I mean, you guys can tell this is definitely inspired by the LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta that JP got for their anniversary and Global will be getting in a couple of months. And on the bottom here, it says Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle 4th Anniversary Figure. So yeah, super sick, super dope. I love the fact that it is a Dokkan themed figure. And uh, let's just get into it, guys. This time, we're gonna use a steak knife. All right, so it looks like he's coming in a couple pieces here. We got the upper body, lower body, and also tail, and the base here. And there he is. So honestly, that took way longer than expected to put together, mainly because the guy's tail kept falling out and also the holes in his foot don't fit perfectly into the base. So that also took a bit of time, but you know what? We got it done and he does look really, really good in my opinion. So let me just throw him on a turntable real quick for that 360 view. So I'll be the first to say that this figure definitely has its flaws. First of all, there is little to no shading on his clothes, which makes him look a little bland. I also wish they would have colored in the Dokkan logo on the little plaque because it's kind of hard to tell what it is when everything's one color. But aside from those two minor gripes, it is, in my opinion, a very well-made figure. The detailing on his body and face are excellent and it's a very accurate depiction of the card that it was modeled after. This is definitely a purchase that I won't be regretting. Another thing I love about this figure is that It'll make me feel better about the shaft that's no doubt coming for me when this guy drops on Global. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's unboxing. I think this Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta figure looks absolutely phenomenal, especially considering the price. And I'm definitely gonna try to get that Super Saiyan 4 Goku as well. And now I'm just hoping and praying that I'll be able to pull this guy when he drops on Global in a couple months 
and best of luck to you guys as well. So <laughs> that's all from me today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, if you like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you'll stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all I gotta say. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.